All right, I figured I'd do a little video on this uh, canoe trailer I built uh, because I haven't seen anything online quite like it. Uh, so this used to be our old jet ski trailer. The jet skis were from the 90s, I think somewhere around 91 or 92. So it's not a real wide trailer, but it was a uh, double jet ski trailer, Kawasaki jet ski trailer. Um, I'm not sure exactly who it was made by. Maybe I can find that out if I look. But <clears throat> had this we had this double jet ski trailer. We got rid of the jet skis individually, so uh, so we didn't sell the trailer with it. But we go on canoe trips quite a bit, um, at least two a year minimum, and we went from having one canoe to two canoes to like five, and now we have. Uh, six and then we go with other people too so uh, we do a shuttle typically um, by what what I mean by that is we take one car to the end and leave one car at the uh, at the place where we put in so <clears throat> with this setup you can do the shuttle and you can put all the canoes on one to get back out this canoe trailer uh, the trailer says it's good for I believe 800 pounds or the tires say they're good for 800 pounds but we've had uh, nine canoes on this uh, three on each side and then um, two upside down and then one in the or two right side up and then one upside down on the top of that so you can fit nine canoes on this but it's real simple here I uh, I made a base <clears throat> right off the original trailer and then off of that base I um, put some 4x4s up a couple uh, couple through bolts there and I just use landscaping timbers for the cross beams as you can see um, it works out really well this is I think the seventh or eighth year that we've had it and it goes um, at least probably 600 miles a year on uh, two to three different canoe trips it so it travels three to or 300 on one probably and then uh, two other it depends sometimes we go up to Tynesta Pennsylvania that's 110 miles each way but it's got a lot of miles on it, and it's held up very well. Um, in the middle, I used a couple 2x4s as cross beams here, just to give it strength back and forth. Um, but it was just a simple jet ski trailer that I turned into a uh, canoe hauler without uh, too much effort. I think I have 85 bucks in the wood. I, I believe that's what it was. It's been... I said seven or eight years since I built this um, and it trails behind the truck real well the only problem I think I may have is right here where this specific trailer comes together it's kind of cutting into the main the main tongue here so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy a piece of rectangular um, steel to put over this and then I'm probably gonna weld both of these pieces together just to strengthen it up but for the tires being able or claiming 700 pound rating on each um, I haven't had a problem yet and I, I mean altogether these canoes aren't that much this one probably weighs 75 this one's a little bit lighter this one is 60 uh, the Black River canoe right there I think is somewhere around 55 pounds the Coleman's are kind of heavier because um, just of the material they they uh, were made with. But we use ratchet straps, and I've never lost the canoe, never had any issues with the trailer um, so far in all these years. So if you're looking to buy a canoe trailer or make a canoe trailer, hopefully this will give you a little, um, just a little help on... If you're gonna make it how I did it and uh, you know I know it held up because it's been years and years that we've been using it so 
hopefully it helps you out these are just uh just bolts through to the other side with uh lock nuts and washer lock nuts not lock washers but lock nuts and then at the back there was already holes in the frame that went off of i mean sure you could drill holes down there um at the back of the frame but this would actually <clears throat> if you still had the jet skis i could unbolt this whole frame off of this trailer with four bolts uh, these two up there and those bottom two back there and the whole thing with with the canoes on it could come off very easily so really if you wanted to use it um you know dual purpose if you left the jet skis in the river or wherever you might have them you could unbolt that and then just have a canoe rack um have a canoe rack by itself without the trailer under it very easily also hope this video helps thanks